I really want to build an online course. What do I need to know? So building an online course is a great way to make an additional stream of income. People are really curious about that all the time and I totally get it. And so when you're building a course, I think support is really necessary. Um, I, I think people maybe have and could build a course without some help, but I think having help, whether it is another course that you have purchased or if it is a, a coach that you work with or a mastermind that is specifically geared towards building a course, there's a lot of things that go into building a course that um, it's, it's you wanna build the course so you have the instructional design, right? And then you also want to market that course. So then there's the marketing of that course. And then there's the aesthetics, right? Like the branding of that um, course, not just for marketing purposes, but how your course looks. You have to decide what you probably need the most amount of help with and, and maybe utilize people that can help you with that. So if you are like, yes, I have a whole course outlined, I'm gonna put it on Teachable, I'm gonna put it in a Kajabi, it's gonna be really um, outlined really well, but I don't know how to market this course, then you may wanna think about working with somebody that can help you market that course because there are ways that you create funnels in order to market your course. And so like a simple funnel might look like you give a free download away. I'm gonna create a funnel here. So on your website, you, you drive people to your website with this free download, like let's say 20 ways to re reduce anxiety today. And then from that mailing list, then you start to um, build a relationship with that mailing list. Then you decide I'm gonna have a webinar and I'm gonna teach people like five proven strategies to reduce anxiety. So you have that webinar. And then at that webinar, then you pitch your course, right? And you let them know uh, these are great strategies. If you'd like to get more and you'd like to learn more, then you can purchase my course and then you sell your course. That is a, a, a very simple funnel. There are other ways to do that. The idea would be is that you wanted a lot of people on your mailing list. Some, you know, uh, a portion of those people at your webinar and then a portion of those people would be purchasing your course. If you worked with somebody that could teach you some of those numbers, that's really helpful because when you're sending out emails, you wanna make sure you're, you're hitting a certain amount. You wanna look at um, the ones that had a good open rate and a good uh, click-through rate. And there's just a lot of things that go along with, with selling a course. So a lot of people, they know they have to build the course and then they, don't have, they have to sell the course. But there's this middle thing that happens um, in order to do it. But having a course is a really great, great way to sort of automate sales. There are ways that you, it's called evergreening your, your, your course in your funnel. So then that way you don't have to continue to, to launch every single time. There's a very good book um, called Launch that I've read about launching courses and some of the things that you can do in order to be successful in launching a course. I'm gonna give you a tip. I'm gonna talk about the different kinds of courses that you can sell and, and some tips around that. But first, let's thank our sponsor, Therapy Notes. If you're looking for an electronic health record that can really help you run your in-person practice, your virtual practice, your hybrid practice, your solo practice, your group practice, whatever kind of practice you're deciding to run, Therapy Notes can really be uh, made for your practice. They have a telehealth option. They have uh, billing options. You can take payments directly from there. You send reminders to your clients. You can do your paperwork from there. It's really great. And what makes Therapy Notes stand out is their customer service. You can pick up the phone, you can give them a call, and you can get the help that you need. So going back to the kind of course that you're selling. The, the two most common courses are business to consumer and business to business. So business to consumer would be like the example that I had shared was you're the business you're selling to lay people who wanna learn about anxiety, for instance. Business to business would be like launching a private practice that would be business to business right like you're like wow the people that are purchasing those are lay people but it's really to build their business so you want to decide which one you are going to 
work on and if you have an audience, whenever people ask me about launching anything, whether it's groups, whether it's workshops, whether it's courses, I always ask about their audience. That's the biggest thing. Do you have an audience? We've done lots of videos before on, on having an audience. You wanna make sure that you either have an audience or you have a solid strategy to build an audience because people can build the most amazing courses. I've seen people build really good things, have really great workshops, and they don't have anybody come because their audience wasn't wide enough. And so again, there are numbers out there of how much of an audience you need in order to generate the sales that you're looking for. But the question I really want you to ask yourself is, do I have the audience right now? Or am I willing to build that audience on Facebook, on Instagram, on my mailing list, however you wanna build that audience in order to sell my course? I am here most days answering your questions. Let me know how I can help you. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.